Hello, welcome. Amanda here with Crafting with Amanda, and I am just going to jump right in. I have been remiss in getting this card video out. Um, those that know, know that we've just had a very busy month and life still continues. But these are the components that I send to my club card monthly girls. They're in my VIP and they place orders and then they receive kits. And I sent the pieces for both May and June in one kit. So here for May, I sent um, pieces just of from the Hello Darling card making maybe it was the scrapbooking stamp set I will look that up but I am using this inspiration on page 17 from the April May June catalog as kind of my inspiration for this card I also added some Cricut cuts just from old cartridges that I had but most of this is the stamp from the Hello Darling scrapbooking stamp and all everything that I use I will list below the video so that there's links for those and then there's also going to be links for some of my favorite tools some of them I use in this video some of them I just use in general um, and I do receive a small compensation if you purchase through those links for Amazon if you click on that link and then even order something else let's say um, you click on the link for the hockey puck pad for using with the Misty, but then you end up ordering replacement um, dog food or an extra dog dish um, as long as it's within, I think, the first 24 hours. I actually receive a little bit from that purchase too. So even purchasing everyday stuff can help your local Amazon affiliates. Just FYI. So I am just kind of dry fitting on here. Uh, there's two sides to this paper. I do believe this paper, um, <clears throat> excuse me, is lovely. I'm not exactly sure, but it was just bulk paper. I'm trying to use up what I have along kind of using new with old to create these cards and to work through what I have in my studio because I don't know about you, but I have too much paper don't tell anybody and I know that there's going to be more coming into my life because that's just how this happens <laughs> is uh, I'm gonna end up with a whole tote or two literally full of paper packs coming this way soon so the thinking of you stamp set is from the flourishes sentiments or flourished greetings and that is from the core catalog and that catalog ends I believe the end of August they've extended it one more month it says till the end of July but it goes until the end of August now on this card I took my edge distress tool that close my heart doesn't sell anymore but they have them in different locations different websites unfortunately I can't put a link for one because it would be a competing um, company too close to my heart but I'm sure if you look for edge distress tool you will find one out there on the first card I'm gonna go ahead and pop dot up my sentiment and some of the floral elements on the second card I don't do that it's more flat um, both of these are gonna go through the mail just fine because I didn't use real thick foam tape but it does give you a different look and I wanted to just show you kind of some variety and now on here, I have, I'm kind of using the plaid yellow with the blue plaid. Um, and I'm kind of highlighting with the big blue flowers and everything is kind of that blue and yellow mix with some of the red thrown in for our pop of color. Now on the next one, I'm going to use the toffee background. And I do think I end up turning over that blue plaid because there's a red starred paper on the back side of that and so then again you have the red flowers with the red background paper and you can see that here I glued that all together and that's what I did now our second set of papers that I set is from the hey handsome and I didn't necessarily have a direction in mind but I knew that I wanted to send some of these digital images of the tools to everybody not everybody got the same tools I was talking to Lorna because I wasn't sure if I had one set or two sets of papers in my envelope when I finally got around to doing this and she got a different type of wrench and then um, I think she got a hammer in hers where I have the crescent wrench and then the needle nose pliers in mine but I think everybody got the screwdriver and the saw I'm not exactly sure 
but I'm just kind of looking at the pieces that I sent and, and trying to decide what kind of card or how I'm going to use all of these elements. I did not send the tags. I just happened to have those on my desk as extra. So you might need to go and um, punch some tags or if you just have a, a piece of white daisy or I happen to use linen cardstock, kind of that light gray color. And um, those are what the tags are out of. So you could just grab that to do your sentiments on. And instead of the thinking of you sentiment from the florist greetings, I'm actually going to use the happy birthday of the florist greetings because I always seem to need masculine birthday cards. We have a lot of nephews in our family and so I need to have those masculine birthday cards on hand. And I'm I originally use um, Sapphire and it was just one of those that we've had so much going on I didn't take time to think about using Harbor. Sapphire was just here and available and so I grabbed it and used it. I do end up stamping for the card in the upper right corner that sentiment on the back of the tag in Harbor and it just works so much better with it. But for this tag with the orange, orange and blue are complementary colors of each other so I think that's perfectly fine. And again here I'm just playing with it. I'm trying to show all of this to give you ideas of how you might want to do your card. Sometimes when people put things together on YouTube channels will be like, oh I like that. And so um, I'll actually do a screen capture as kind of an inspiration for how I want to do a project even though that was one of the iterations of their project that they didn't want. They didn't stop there. They rearranged things and did something differently. Now I cut apart, I think it was like a one and a quarter inch piece off of this green and I'm flipping it over and using the Harbor plaid or stripes on it kind of, it's just another layer of texture on this card. Now this is the floral layers stamp set that goes with the floral greetings and I'm just grabbing their stars in three different sizes in the bottom corner and I thought this paprika cardstock needed just a background texture and so I'm going to use these stars versus like a background element or something more solid. I just thought I would random stamp these stars around. You could also emboss it like I have the diamond um, that looks like a toolbox kind of embossing folder. You could do that and sand it to let that white core show through. The possibilities are endless on what you want to do. I was just um, trying to fill in the space and get something done. So I apologize for my absence on the channel. Um, I think if you've watched my channel at all, you know that we said goodbye to my father-in-law in June. My mother currently is in the hospital and not doing well and going to have to go to a skilled nursing facility to gain some of her strength back. So I will be dealing with that as well. Prayers are appreciated. All of the supplies are in the description underneath the video. Blessings.